All right, it's time for another cup of Linux quickie, and this one goes out to you, Dan. <laughs> and this video is for the benefit of anybody who has followed my Kadian Live workshop, and they're looking for ways to possibly speed up rendering times. Now, uh, pretty much uh, my Kadian Live workshop videos, most of them are still relevant for the latest release that we're running now, but some changes have been added to the dialogue for when you are rendering out your video. So let's go ahead and have a look at this. Now, as you can see here, I have a video, a project right here um, for something I'm going to be uploading to YouTube uh, today as well. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and press Control Enter to go ahead and enter into uh, the rendering dialog. I have specified the MP4 format and I've given my video a name. Okay, now to get some advanced features, I'm going to click on more options here. And um, by default, you may find that you'll see something like this. Your encoder speed will actually be set at the halfway mark here. And it may only say one or two threads in this area. Well, I bumped that all the way up to eight because my processor supports eight threads. And actually, the maximum number that you can get, it'll detect how many threads you have available to you, and it will give you that option. Then you can set the encoder speed here. Now, um, something else I like to do to help speed up rendering is, um, I like to go into settings here, configure Caden Live, and then adjust environment variables. Now, this is very important. While you are editing, you always want to have your processing threads set as one. If you don't, you're not going to be able to move the playhead. Okay? And that's something you're going to want so that you can, you know, move the playhead and, you know, um, as you're editing. So, um, when you are not editing and you're getting ready to render to get that extra bit of oomph, set this number up to the highest amount of uh, processing threads that your processor supports. In my case, that is eight. I will select apply and then select OK. So eight threads in the environment variables and eight threads to the encoder. All right, this is going to give us a faster rendering. So let's go ahead and press render to file. It will ask me to add that MP4 extension, and now uh, it's going to go through the process of doing that. And you can see it's using up all of my, almost all of my computer's resources, and then at some point it'll eventually hit a full execution cap. Note, it is saying about 5 minutes 45 seconds to render this video. I can guarantee you it's not going to take that long. Excellent! The video only took 2 minutes 58 seconds to render. I probably could have shaved a little bit more time off of this rendering time by having OBS Studio turned off. But I just wanted to make a little demonstration that this is how you can get faster rendering times out of Kadian Live. So I hope this helps uh, some of you out who are having issues with uh, rendering times uh, in Kadian Live. Well, that's all I have on today's Cup of Linux Quickie. And I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing next, but I'm sure I'll have something equally exciting. So until next time, peace out. Mm -hmm.